Hello YouTube and welcome to yet another Doctor Who DVD review. Today I am reviewing a story of which I have just finished watching and it is, is of course The Mind Robber. This review was indeed requested by Dominic House. Thank you for the request and go and check his channel out. He makes brilliant videos. Okay, so this story is a very good story. Um, I love the... Uh, it's five parts long, which is a bit unusual, seeming as the as the Daemons was the last ever five part story um, but this is one of the few five parters which is quite unique because this was originally meant to be a six part but um, they uh, I think it was because of like a six week uh, recording schedule something like that uh, I'm not too because I read the little information on the booklet just to make uh, this review a little more detailed and I think Fraser Hines was sort of ill like halfway through the story like uh, he had something wrong with him and so they had a replacement and it cleverly slotted in um, with the story so that was quite a good idea and uh, so yeah we'll just crack on with the proper review um, the, the artwork just looks amazing it's probably one of my favourite artworks for a DVD, despite the fact it's an original release. I probably won't get the special edition, depending on whether the special features are any good. I mean, I haven't checked all the special features on this, um, so I can't really tell you if they're good. Or I'll probably tell you if they look interesting, but uh, so on the artwork, you've got the master. Um, not the master, it's the master of the land of fiction. In the middle there, we've got the exploding TARDIS and uh, I've heard someone say this before and what he said was if the TARDIS exploded in the Big Bang and it destroyed the universe why didn't it destroy the universe in this? which um, I sort of agree with but still you know it's Doctor Who um, and on the right there we've got Patrick Troughton looking rather worried and Center stage, you've got three clockwork droids, which is what I love. That I, I just love the reddish on this cover, and I do love the clockwork um, soldiers there as well. And behind that, we've got some rock well, pillars or rock pillars. It's a PG, we've got the Patrick Troughton uh, picture there for all Patrick Troughton DVDs. Not that there are many. Um, Okay, it's the Patrick Charging Years, 1966 to 69. It's got a lovely red banner. And on the side, uh, we've got sort of reddish coming off from the explosion of the TARDIS, and it's just black. And of course, it's as it's a pre to entertain, there's no to entertain logo on it. Um, so on the back, we've got some really good pictures, slightly different colour to the normal pictures on the back of DVD releases. Uh, it's sort of a reddish colour. I reckon that's to go in hand inside with the DVD cover. Uh, so I'll just read you the blurb, and it's by Peter Ling. Escaping from volcanic eruption on the planet Dulcis, the Doctor is forced to use the TARDIS emergency unit, which takes the craft out of a normal time and space and out of reality itself. Uh, the time travellers arrive in a mysterious world uh, peopled by fictional characters. Gulliver and Rapunzel, O'Artigan and Sir Lancelot, but also by creatures from mankind's worst imaginings, such as the Medusa, as you can see on the picture right there. Okay, now if I just tell you my thoughts on the story, it's a very good story, a bit confusing at times, because um, uh, sometimes I was a bit confused of what was going on. But uh, overall, it's a really good story. I really recommend it. You go out and buy it. Because I now have... Fa uh, altogether, I think I have about ten Troughton stories on... Well, five of them are on, are on DVD. And five of them are on audio. Uh, and he's a really good doctor. He's not my favourite, though. Um, but he's still a really good doctor. Um, I also forgot to mention I got a the 50th anniversary poster. It's... Uh, up there as you can see with all the doctors on it uh, which I just think looks really really good um, you should probably buy it but uh, yeah the story is very good I would recommend it um, I hope to get more Troughton stories soon like uh, I don't know 
the Dominators, although I've heard that's quite bad. And speaking of the Dominators, I think this was its preview. The Dominators was just before this story. I'm not sure if that's right, but correct me if I'm wrong. So, yeah, this story is great. Uh, great scripting. Um, some of the cliffhangers are really quite good. For example, I think it's is it episode 3 cliffhanger. And um, they're about to be uh, uh, charged into by a fictional unicorn. Because I saw that on like a clip, and I thought that was a really good scene, and I wondered if it was a cliffhanger. And I was right. Um, and so, yeah, this story is really quite good. Like I said, brilliant performances, brilliant scripting, great acting, and um, despite the fact Jamie isn't in really a couple of episodes, well, one episode, I don't think, um, because of his illness or whatever, I'm not sure why he wasn't in that bit, to be precise, but uh, I think he was ill, I'm not too sure. But, uh, so yeah, the story's great, and so let's have a look at the special features this DVD contains. And also we've got excellent artwork on the disc there. And it's probably one of my favourite discs. Although I think I'd like the Vengeance on Varus disc 1 disc. Um, but whatever. And so let's have a look. We've got commentaries by Fraser Hines, Wendy Padbury, David Maloney and Hamish Wilson. And there's not that great amount of special features but they're... They look, well, they sound interesting, I suppose. Um, we've got The Fact of Fiction, Making of the Mind Robber. Uh, Highlander, the Jamie McCrimmon story. That sounds like a really good uh, special feature, because I like Jamie as a companion. Um, and he's like the longest serving companion, which was pretty cool. We've got Basil Brush, Photo Gallery, and Production Subtitles. Let's put the, uh, the book clip back in the box. Um, so yeah, my overall rating for the story uh, would probably be an 8 out of 10. It's a really good story, uh, really recommend it to any Patrick Troughton fan. If you haven't uh, watched any, well, if you haven't watched that many Patrick Troughton stories, I suggest you buy this one as your next DVD. And so, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, this was requested by Dominic House. Thank you for the, thank you for the request. And so... I shall see you guys later for a review of The Sirens of Time. So thank you for that request by Parachute Walker. And I shall see you then. Bye for now.